Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as we're playing with the Fate of Iberia expansion. So as I said last episode, we're going to be saving up that money so we can go on the, the Hajj. We need 350 gold to be able to get that done. So we're going to let this play and, and start raising up this money. All right, so we have an event with our cat. We also finished the construction of the keep. We won't be able to continue any further construction there until after we've spent that money. Uh, raised up that 350 gold and spent it. Uh, so this is an event about sensitivity. So Yusef, this cat has to go. So this is our wife here. She's holding up shadow by the skin of her neck. Uh, eyes red and nose running. I cannot stand this anymore. I can barely breathe when she's around. Well, you know, I was talking about that uh, earlier in the, the series. My terrible cat allergies. I feel for her. I do. And you know, we're not completely dedicated to this cat. And, um... Probably don't want to engage with her in an argument. So we'll probably go ahead and give the cat up. So we'll do that option. Uh, so we can instead give it to Isabella. And this is one of our vassals here. So she's a, a Baroness. Oh, so all these are just giving it to one of these characters, I see. So you can instead give it to this character here. Or this character here. And you're just giving them a boost, essentially. To their health and their intrigue and learning. So it's really just a matter of which one of those do you want to boost up. I mean, he sucks. So I suppose you could use it. Uh, what else is it grant again? Uh, intrigue and learning. Probably don't want anybody who doesn't like you to have a boosted intrigue. So probably grant it to this guy, I suppose. He's pretty garbage anyways. So we'll grant it to him. So we gave up our cat and lost those bonuses, unfortunately. I don't think we'd really fight about that though. Uh, and because of that, we're now having poor health. Yeah, I think that's because we lost the cat. Uh, because that was one of the, the health boosts that we were getting. All right, so uh, we gotta go to our doctor. And he's really good. I mean, if you gotta go to a doctor, this is the type of guy you wanna go to. Somebody who's got that, that high learning, got that uh, high renowned physician, physician trait. So we're gonna do we're, we're coward, so we wouldn't do this option. Although, you know, as a coward, I, I, I kind of feel like a coward would be more likely to do that in a sense. That's just my opinion. Because he's so afraid of dying. He's just like, do anything to save me. Well, that's not Paradox's interpretation, apparently. Uh, yeah, we'll just do the do no more than is necessary. And apparently he did well, which is not unexpected, uh, given his, his skill. So hopefully we'll have time. To go on our trip. What was that to see? Uh, we're no longer ill. Alright, so we did heal largely due to our doctor. I feel like our doctors who saved us there. Alright, so we have the attempt to assassinate this young boy here and see if we can't have his territory be inherited by this boy. Which he really needs to convert. I feel like we're the type that would demand the conversion of all of our vassals, even if they wouldn't accept it. Uh, given they'll probably want something to return. Anyways, we need to assassinate this character, uh, so we'll do the uh, Lost in the Forest event. And yes, he is dead. They found him as a, a mangled corpse, and uh, nobody knows of our involvement. Now, because we killed a child, it's going to gain some stress, but it worked. The boy did inherit those two titles. But he is uh, a Christian, an infidel, so uh, let's demand his conversion. He's probably going to want something to return. And, uh, of course, he's not going to be happy about us demanding the conversion in the first place. But yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, he is now our second most powerful vassal, so it makes sense for us to want him to be converted. So, yeah, we'll attempt to do that. Yeah, this worked out nicely for us. And uh, we reduced his territory without actually having to go to war. So it appears he's willing to do it, but only for a weak hook. Again, I don't like giving weak hooks out, but this character would do it. I think he would do it for the good of Islam. So... We're going to give him the weak hook. I'm sure he'll use that against me in the future. Something negative. Uh, but he is only eight. And so he'll only have a couple years unless he uses it as a child. Uh, he'll only have a couple years to use it once he becomes an adult. So yeah, we'll go and do this. That'll convert him. That's what's important. We needed him to, to convert. Uh, so he has that weak hook on us until 1103, which I was saying he had the 10 years, but he probably doesn't because I don't think we'll last that long. Uh, yeah, he might uh, regret doing that. Uh, so is this a uh, war on us or one of our allies? 
So hybrid culture was formed. Okay, so this is an ally. And that's the one over here. Damn. Yeah, I didn't want to get called into useless wars over here. Especially because it's probably going to be one that he loses in. I just assume that he's going to be much weaker. So 1569 versus 854. Yeah, he's gonna lose that without our assistance. We're not going over there to to assist him on that. Yeah, that's just not important for us. However, I feel like we have to accept it no matter what, whether it's a role player or not, the, the cost is so enormously high. 350 fame is a lot of fame. I feel like it's so high that you have to accept even if you don't want to uh, get involved uh, because if you didn't, uh, I think what would end up happening is you would never be able to get, you'd never be able to get enough uh, fame up there. So we, we always accept it, role play or not, even if we don't intend to get involved, just because it's such a, I don't know, I really feel like they need to change that. I don't know what you'd change it to, but, or if you just reduce the cost or whatever, but yeah, we're not going to get involved in that. And I mean, maybe if they were, it was a Christian against a Muslim, then I could see us getting involved for role play purposes. Uh, but yeah, this is a Muslim as well. So yeah, there's, there's just no, no reason for us to, to get involved over there. Just because well, he's like uh, related to us distantly, yeah, or through—I think it's one through our spouses actually. Oh, and our, our spouse did die. Speaking of spouses, we, we knew she was going to, so not surprising. But we did gain stress because of that. So that's a bummer. So now we have to arrange another marriage, and that's a negative of arranged marriages with uh, older people, as they're more likely to die on you. Uh, and it looks like this all got reset here. So let's go ahead and redo this. And should be an adult. Alright, so with some of all skills, she is now the best one. Uh, looks like she would be decent. As of right now though, we're probably just, it doesn't really matter that much who we select. Probably don't want an alliance though, that's going to drag us into conflicts though. So yeah, I probably won't do any of these these alliance ones. Maybe just with her? Yeah, she's 45. Diligent, patient, or arbitrary. Sure, why not? So just make sure we're not losing any piety here. We're not having enough marriages. We almost have enough money here. Uh, we do have factions that are getting created against us. These are the uh, the populace, the peasant rabbles. It's not too much of an issue, though. Of course, we might have to to fight those. Oh, that's not factions. So yeah, we might end up having to fight those. Yeah, this one here is going to be in 47 months, so quite some time, and they're just too weak as of this moment. But well, this guy is a member and a servant of honesty. Uh, so is this with our son? Yeah, this is with our son. So he can become honest, which again is another trait we've already had. Deceitful, I mean, that's you know what our next character is gonna be. So yeah, very unfortunate. All these are, are traits that we've already had, so we're not getting any new traits here with our our son, our second son. So no matter what, we're gonna have uh, some negatives there. We'll just let him keep the honesty. He'll be different from his brother in that sense. Yeah, kind of a bummer. It's all the same traits in this family. Oh, are we uh, sad about Shadow? So we visit our vassal to see how little Shadow's doing in his care. He meets me outside his mansion, the black cat in his arm. She's doing well. She likes to hunt the local birds. All right, so we lost some stress. We want to see her, our old cat. And we do have enough money now, so we're going to do that in a minute. Uh, first, we have an event for our spouse. Of course, this is uh, one we've seen before. Where you can boost the stats of our counselors. I really feel like the steward's the one that we need to boost the most. So we're going to boost him. That'll give him the, the plus two. So that'll be pretty helpful. Because we're trying to do those... Oh, it's cultural conversions. We need to get those done. Uh, though he's only 13 right now. Is it just not updated? There we go. Alright, so now 55 days. We'll get that completed. Uh, let's go ahead and go on our Hajj, though. We're at war, so we're not allowed to. Oh, damn. 
All right, so that's gonna stop us from going. In which case, we might have to get engaged in this war just to get this over with. But frankly, I'd prefer they lose this territory so we don't get, keep getting pulled into these alliances. Yeah, I don't really wanna have to spend so much money to go over there. Uh, because, yeah, not only do you have to raise the troops and spend all the money to, to have the troops raised, but then we got to put them across the seas, and, you know, that's going to cost us money as well. And then you land, you got to do all the battles, and, yeah, I just don't really care about it. But, yeah, it could take forever to end otherwise. Well, we're 51. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Might have to fight. So you got another event with the accusations of witchcraft, but this time we're a very different character. Uh, so this time we'll likely burn her for her crimes against Allah. That's the only one we don't gain stress on. We are zealous. And we don't care about facts and evidence. So we're gonna gain some piety here and get the satisfied peasants plus 25. So that'll be helpful. And it sucks for her. But yeah, this, this work, I don't, I don't know how long it would take. They are vastly outnumbered, so you think you'd be able to get it completed you know, quicker, but you know, we'll just have to see. Again, we could go over there and, and win the war. I just don't care, and I don't want to keep getting pulled into these conflicts, so if he loses his territory over here, which I don't know if that's what that's over, but if he loses his territory, it'd be a good thing for us. So yeah, I just don't... just don't care about this conflict. Now, you can see that, uh, yeah, they, they just got more allies. Oh, are we the attackers on this? Oh, we're on the attacking side. Okay, I thought it was the other way around. So he actually attacked, even though he didn't have the troops to win the war, because of his uh, allies. He knew he was going to have assistance from his allies. And so that's what he did it on. Now the Christians are going to start calling crusades now. So that's something to be concerned about. I probably won't be over here at all. Could be. Probably not. I assume it will be over here there in the, the Holy Land. Or at least the first ones will be. But yeah, something to, to be aware of. That faction disbanded. Probably because we burned that witch. Pleased all the people. Uh, we did get a stewardship perk as well. So I suppose we'll continue boosting opinion, well, this time with the uh, the counselors. So yeah, all our counselors should have much higher opinions. Uh, Spymaster doesn't really like us that much. We should probably boost his opinion then, although we could just replace him as well. He's not a powerful noble, uh, and you know his intrigue is, is not great. Uh, let me just see if there's anybody who'd be good that's also a powerful noble. Yeah, just our brother here who doesn't even like us in the first place. Although his opinion is getting higher. Yeah, he wouldn't be a very good spy master. And uh, we don't really need a spy master for anything other than finding secrets at this moment. So I suppose we could put our brother in that place. Just to appease him. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. I don't know how much more intrigue we'll be doing, so... Yeah, we'll assign him here. Make him happy. And now he's got the plus 64. He likes us a lot now. Just because we gave him, gave him this position. Uh, so let's go ahead and have him find secrets. I, I don't think he'll succeed. Um, we can't have him find secrets on himself anymore, obviously. Uh, so that won't be an option. Uh, but we could find secrets somewhere else, so we'll just do it over here. So if we can't find anything there. Yeah, this war continues being lost, and... Uh, they now have more troops. So they pulled in somebody else over here. So is this the guy that we had gotten the notification about? Yeah, he's got a lot of troops over here. Yeah, this war has really become something over here, hasn't it? It has a big old conflict. Yeah, I'm not interested in getting involved in that at all, guys. In fact, they, they don't have so many troops, like, um... Because I think this counts our troops as well. So yeah, our side has, like, no chance... Uh, to win this, this war at this point. So yeah, we'll just have to wait until it ends. It's just a bummer. I probably would have took the fame hit if I had thought about the fact that we weren't going to be able to go on the, the pilgrimage. So we couldn't find anything. We don't know if he's ever going to be able to find any secrets. Um, but let's let's have him try again. He's so low in skill. He's going to have trouble finding secrets no matter what. Our daughter is of age. Remember, she's already betrothed over to the next ruler over here. Or at least he was the next ruler. Just make sure he's still set to inherit. He is. All right, excellent. As far as her education goes, she did pretty good. Charismatic negotiator. All right, so they'll be betrothed. Excellent. And uh, maybe they'll start having some children. Won't be in our dynasty, of course. And yeah, I don't know if you can turn these off and all. They're just kind of annoying how often they pop up when you're involved with the struggle. 
I just don't think you need to know every little tick up of it. Maybe it might be important to get a notification where you're getting close to having one of the phases progress. Uh, so the war is over. All right, so very quick conflict. I'm glad it's over so we can go and, and uh, go on our trip, which we now have plenty of money to go. Uh, we got an event about new acquisitions. So this is another lifestyle event. During the daily management of my realm, I've learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. So we can say I've heard rumors of a lost tome rediscovered. This is a learning challenge. 57% chance that we succeed. 43% chance is just an uninteresting, well, uninteresting old book. We can instead say the Sheik could use help managing his realms. We get a weak hook on him. All right, so that's the one that's over here. Or we can say securing those trade deals will fill my treasury. I mean, I feel like, you know, you could just go for this one for the money. And there's nothing to indicate we go for one over the other. We have been boosting our learning, get that up higher. And we do have a lot of money. So I feel like we might actually try and uh, look for this, this artifact. Uh, so we ended up getting it. Uh, so that is going to get us, whoops, I need to pause that. Uh, this is going to get us the Fine Administration of the Kingdom book. Increasing prestige and monthly stewardship lifestyle experience points. All right, so that's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we want to go ahead and get that put in place in our court, and we'll put it over. I think it's over here, or it's or we can put it over here. That's an option as well. We'll put it over here, and that'll give us that that nice uh, lifestyle experience points bonus. The prestige is great too, but yeah, we want to move up in our lifestyle quicker. That's always helpful. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go on the, the Hajj now, now that we're out of the war, undertake the Hajj. And uh, it's going to be 403 gold, so it's actually more expensive now. Uh, I think it might be based on your income, so yeah, that's unfortunate. It got more expensive. We're going to get a ton of piety from this, 875, and uh, we get the display of submission. And so this is going to get a same faith opinion plus 10. So very helpful. All right, so the time has come for me to undertake the pilgrimage to Mecca. It has been commanded of me, as it has been for all Muslims, to show my submission to Allah. All right, so we'll start our pilgrimage, and I'm sure we'll get several pilgrimage events. We can't go and spend the rest of that money. We should probably keep some of it, though, for the events that might happen. But well, let's go and spend some money in the capital, I suppose, current capital. Uh, could also build up over here as well, since we've been considering making that the capital. We'd need more control of that overall duchy before we did that, though. So I think the most profitable one would probably be to get the uh, charcoal burners, because not only are you getting the 0.2 tax, but you're also going to get the army gold maintenance reduction. It's going to be helpful. And you also reduce the building construction time. Let's look at that one first. And then we'll probably save the money here for events. It's not an important pilgrimage. So I'll make sure we have a bit of money for any type of opportunities that might come available here. So he's still not able to find any secrets. Again, he sucks, so we'll keep on doing it. He might have to do it many times in order to find a secret if he can even find anything. Might not even be worth having him do it just because he is so cruddy at it. The Mystic. Jezue is one of the stranger people I've met on this journey. He seems to be a firm believer, but also expounds on the true nature of Allah and what it all means. At night, his tent is lit up by the candles within, and occasionally strange chanting and unusual incense flows from it. I'm wholly unprepared when Jezue bids me to enter. All right, so that's this character. Here, he's 74 years old. Wow. He's a wise man. A hideous wise man. So we can say, I'm quite curious, or no thank you, this all smells of heresy to me. I feel like we'd say that one, not just because we're zealous, but also because we're a coward. We don't know what's going on in that tent. We're scared. So we're just going to go with this one, guys. So nothing really gained from that one, except for more piety, which is helpful. Loss of companions. For every week that passes, my fellowship grows ever smaller. Some has gone as far as they can before the need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less fortunate ends. Most worrying is the fact that my group of personal guards is thinning out at an alarming rate. That fact alone shows what a treacherous journey this can be. So we could say some of the locals seem like they would make fierce guards, Pay money and get foreign guards. But we are humble. We're also a coward, though. So, uh, we can say all I need is the protection of Allah, 
and then we'll gain, uh, yeah, because we're craving. So no matter what, we gain stress. So it's just really, um, are we more pious than we are cowardly? As far as what we get, for the 115 gold here, you get the plus two prowess and the increase of levy size. Plus five percent, we hired that many guards, huh? Okay, uh, so we can instead do this one and you get the divine protection. Basically, our diplomacy will be increased while the intrigue will be decreased based on level of devotion. And then we'll also get monthly piety. I feel like this is the better option, but I, I think our character, while we might be humble, we still want to be guarded because we're scared. So I think we're going to go with that option, even though it's it's not really as good. A greater armada. My steward Rodrigo informs me that his chronicles have returned from navigating and studying the naval technologies across the sea. He says that with funding, we could have a new ship design that would outperform our neighbors and usher in an era of maritime supremacy for Aragon. On the other hand, my marshal Yusef would much rather spend that gold in things other than trade vessels. So we can say, I don't want a new ship design, I want a ship of pure silver. We'll gamble away our funds for an opportunity at outstanding renown, gathering the greatest artisans to build the impossible, a ship of pure silver. So that'll be 230 gold total. No matter what, we get the Master Shipbuilders, which is absolutely fantastic. Then we have Barcelona. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you get it for 20 years or 45 years. This one here, you get Sunken Silver. On well, this one, you get the 350 Prestige. I guess you succeed 24% of succeeding. As a humble character, I don't think we'd do that. We instead consider the Endeavor sponsored. It'll still be 230 gold, so you're spending the same amount of gold regardless. Now, this one increase opinion, while well, that one decreases opinion. It's also a learning challenge, and the modifier we get here is advanced maritime technology. So naval speed will increase, coastal advantage will be increased, and the embarkation cost is reduced. And that's for 50 years. Wow. And that's just if we fail. If we succeed, which is a 35% chance, you get it for 60 years, it looks like. Yeah, 60 years instead of 50, and you get the master shipbuilders. Yeah, that's clearly the better option there. Uh, or you say those funds can better service elsewhere. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it and we'll see how we do. Hopefully get the really good option. Uh, we've arrived. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the Great Mosque of Mecca. As the Ulama, yeah, I guess Ulama, that's how we pronounce it, offers me blessing, I reflect on everything that had to happen for Allah to bring me here at this moment in time. So you say, I have walked the holy path, we'll gain that piety, we'll get the trait, which will get us piety and same faith opinion. And then, of course, we'll get the display of uh, submission, which we already saw before. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Or, I mean, it's the only option, of course. And uh, now we'll return. Our pilgrimage ends. Our culture has discovered the arched saddle. Remember, we do not have control. Uh, that's the wrong one here. We do not have control over innovations currently. So he's the one uh, controlling what all we get there. All right, so we're back. We're deep in debt. You haven't seen what happened with that event yet. Offering relief. To my surprise, Whaley Barnett has corresponded with my counselors to arrange for a day by myself to take off some of the pressure I've been under. I guess that's because we're really stressed out. In the end, I spend it following a suggestion from Barnett himself, being by myself in prayer and contemplation, away from the demands of others, but Allah. So we'll lose some stress, we'll gain some opinion, and uh, he'll actually gain some stress for doing that. So yeah, we're, we're deep in debt, and we're, we're pretty stressed out. So we need to get these dealt with, but obviously gotta get the money dealt with before you can deal with the stress. And Prince Ali has come of age. All right, excellent, so he ended up getting the level three skilled tactician, not bad, he's an aggressive attacker as well. So it looks like he could be a pretty good commander if it wasn't for the fact that he's a craven. Yeah, being a coward will result in not being as good as he could be. And you see his marshal's much lower, as is his prowess, so really not the best uh, thing for a soldier to be. The best trait for a soldier to have, so quite negative there in a sense. And because we're in debt, we're getting all these, these penalties here. So yeah, you don't want to go in debt, because those are for 10 years, just for getting in debt just a little bit, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, we have not arranged a marriage yet for Prince Ali. As far as... um. Which character will probably be his his older brother, I assume. So with that in mind, we can just kind of arrange a marriage for them to have some good children, I suppose. Especially because his children will likely be who succeeds because 
Yeah, I assume he'll end up being our heir eventually anyways, because I don't think his brother's going to have any kids, or he hasn't yet. His wife's still young enough to have children, but there's nothing to indicate that they will. I mean, they haven't at this point, and they've been married for some time now. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and find a fertile Muslim that's not lowborn. And maximum age probably shouldn't be any different than uh, 10 years. Or not not maximum age, excuse me, the uh, age difference. We'll see if there's any traits. Looks like there are, because uh, again, we want variable traits put in our dynasty here, so maybe intelligence. Yeah, that would probably be good, and there's not really a whole lot of options here. Now, both of these are not quite of age yet. As far as their traits, we got zealous and deceitful. Content, patient, and greedy. So I like that she's around the same age. Also, this girl here is, is Catalan. Uh, but what alliance is this? There's another alliance over there. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to get pulled into any more conflicts over there. Yeah, I think she might be the best option, honestly. So I think we'll end up going with her. Uh, as far as just some of all skills, she's higher. Which is actually saying something, because of the fact that you know she's younger as well. Which uh, education are they currently doing? She's doing stewardship, because yeah, that might change our opinion here. She's doing intrigue. Okay, I feel like the stewardship might be more useful for Ali, since he's really bad at that. I mean, I guess he's really bad at intrigue, too. I guess we'll do the younger one. She's just better in general. Her learning's lower, I suppose. But the marshal being higher will be helpful. He needs to make up for his own low marshal. So, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and have her uh, instead. Although, I think the marshal bonus would still be the same. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that marriage. Send that off. And if we get any extra titles, we want to grant those out to our sons. Neither one of our sons currently have any titles yet. Uh, so, yeah, if we, you know, get like an eighth title, which we will from a conflict, because we're going to go to war here. Uh, as soon as we get the stress reduced, you know, I wanted to do the the pilgrimage first. So now we'll work on stress, and then after that we'll uh, do the conflict. And so this is a, a friendship with uh, Barnat, which you know he just took all that stress to to help us get us a day uh, a day alone. But yeah, he has an obsessive desire to impress us. He is bisexual as well, so this could be something sexual. Could just be a he wants to be a friend. So, I mean, we can we can do this one here. We weren't doing this one before because uh, we we're an honest character. So, we could do that one, but we're not really trying to get the stress here. I feel like I owe the character. You know what? We'll do it and have to eat the stress, unfortunately. And our high almoner died, which I think we just put her in that position because he demanded it from our father. So, we don't have to put anybody back in that place right now. Though it does give us bonuses, so that's something to consider. And uh, a secret was actually uncovered, finally. Okay, about time. So far, he has not had any success over there. So let's go to blackmail her. 87% chance of, uh, uh, of acceptance. She's a deviant. And she refused. Yeah, I think we'd probably just reveal it. Yeah, we're just going to reveal that a threat was made, and there can only be one outcome. So we exposed her secret. We do have a dangerous faction, so it looks like there might be a potential rebellion here. You know, just a, a peasant rebellion. We'll have to fight that before we go to war. Uh, how soon was that? Just take a look here real quick. Six months, so yeah, that's not that long. And uh, we're still saving up also to get the do something about the stress. Uh, now we'll do the, the large levies. This is vassal levy contribution plus 20%. So increase our army by a little bit. We're up to, to 5,000 troops now. So as soon as we have the money, he's probably not a hunter. So we'll probably he'll throw a, a feast is what I'm thinking. So which means we need 60 more gold. It's about 200 gold it looks like. So we do have a, a court event here. And this is the foul smell. We never did improve any of our court grandeur things. So we could do that. Uh, so... I don't want to spend the money here just to improve the uh, the latrines. You say my steward will handle this matter. He might end up spending more money. What would we do, our character? 
Yeah, I don't think there's really anything to indicate that he'd do any of these. He's humble, so he doesn't really feel the need like he has to fix it. Really prideful character, I think we'd have to fix it. Smelly Court would uh, result in several penalties, though. Yeah, this is a horrible chance. I think we're just going to have to spend the money, guys. Fix it. Yeah, some big old penalties. I don't feel like we have to fix it with our traits. Probably should. Just sucks because we're trying to raise money up for other things. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times those events are not helpful. Uh, we could hold a court, but yeah, I don't really need anything else popping up right now. So we're going to hold a court right now. Uh, those last three we got, I think only one of them was decent. Uh, we did get a trained healer here. And we have the rebellion popping up. All right, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this fight here. Rally the troops together. Um, where is it? It's just here. All right, so it's even smaller than I expected it to be. Um, so let's just go ahead and raise all our troops over here. And then we'll go attack him real quick. And is this uh, another one of those, yeah, one of those truce events here? Yeah, all of our small neighbors desperately want truces, and we're just going to decline all of them. All right, so currently we have the peasant commander in charge. And he's been serving our court for long enough. I feel like it's okay for him to now lead some troops and trust him a bit more. It was our father that he rebelled under, not us. Got those uh, charcoal burners as well. So we'll get him wiped out real quick. And then after that, yeah, we're just waiting to throw the feast, which I don't know that we've thrown any feast in this playthrough. We just did the hunts as our father. All right, so we got him captured, and uh, the war is now over. This is going to force our demands. Span those armies. And then go ahead and deal with the prisoner here. And I don't know that we would let this guy out this time. We have plenty of people to, to serve us. Well, I guess he'd make a good knight. He's a Muslim. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really to indicate that we wouldn't uh, forgive him or not. You know, whether or not we'd forgive him, I mean. He's already a Muslim, so that's what's important. Yeah, and we're not like a vengeful or horrible character in a sense. We're not really scared of the guy. So yeah, we'll just uh, get a weak hook from him and recruit him. As a knight. We need better knights, guys. We uh, certainly have some some cruddy ones. So we need him to accept that and then we'll take a look at our knights. Well, we only have eight now. Yeah, I guess it was our father and his martial focus that got us the extra ones. So now we don't need as many and thus our worst one still pretty bad. I mean, we still have some really bad knights. So we could always hire more knights at some point. Of course, we don't really have the money for that. Alright, so just saving up for the 200 gold and uh, we're sick again. It might not even, this character might not go to war at all. Uh, so let's just do no more than is necessary. And of course we have such a great doctor that this is going to keep us alive much, much longer. So our youngest daughter is now of age. Uh, and we've already betrothed her as well though. He is really young. And so it's going to take some time uh, before he's old enough. But yeah, she's an elusive shadow. So she actually got the best education. All right, excellent. Very nice. And we had another, sp uh, another one of our spouses die. And that put us in the critical stress level. Again, here's the negative. You know, if you married a bunch of old characters, yeah, this is what's going to happen here. Uh, so now we had a mental break uh, due to the grief. Uh, she was a partner in our life, helping me get through so many trials and tribulations. Though we may have had disagreements, facing life without her just feels daunting. How will I ever manage without her? So our options here is, is life without her even worth living? Yeah, we'll get some penalties here. We'll lose the stress. That's a uh, the result in a much higher stress loss reduction, but obviously that's a, a huge penalty there. Instead, we can say this pain is far too raw. I need something to numb it. That again will result in penalties, though there are actually some advantages there. Or we say I must press on. It is what she would have wanted. More penalties. I don't think we'd do that one. I mean, you could really say that you go with either of these, honestly. We are very zealous, though. So, I don't know. We put that in our body. 
Maybe we'll just say I must press on is what she was what she would wanted. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that option. Obviously, uh, you know, we got some penalties here now. The uh, frozen grief, and we're still at a high stress level as well. I mean, at the, the high stress level, we still have a lot of stress. Uh, no secrets uncovered. We'll probably just go ahead and move him now. Yeah, he's uh, you know, he's terrible, but he's tried many times now and hasn't found any secrets. Maybe we'll try over here. Yeah, put him in uh, Castile's court. See what chances he has over there. Could also put him in Navarre, I suppose, but less characters there. Less chance of him finding something. Uh, we now have the 200 gold. Probably should wait just a minute, though, just in case some event pops up. We don't want to go in the negative again. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and now uh, fire the feast off. It'll be a further reduction in stress, getting us down to 50s. We're still pretty high. Maybe we'll be able to reduce it further. First uh, feast event. And uh, we got collateral damage already. So I have barely managed to sit down at my seat when I hear a howl emanating from Whaley Madi. It would seem he and Whaley Rodrigo have really gotten into it. As Madi is receiving a proper manhandling from Rodrigo, too late I realize their martial dance has paved its way straight through the Hudid Dynasty banner. So they're going to destroy our Dynasty banner. Uh, I motion for my guards to separate the two, hissing and clawing at each other. The duo, the duo is presented in front of me, all the while throwing blame on one another for starting the fight. So we can say, Willy Rodrigo, how could you dare? We'll make him pay for the damages. It's not going to destroy it, by the way. It's only going to decrease the durability of it. And instead, we can say, why would you let him provoke you, Willy Madi? Or we can say, in Allah's name, I shall turn the other cheek. Probably what we do. We don't really want to confront them anyway here at the feast. So cowardly. Uh, but yeah, we gain stress because we're zealous. So we'll just do this one and uh, we'll lose stress, which is what the point of this whole thing was. We'll also gain opinion with both of them and some piety. So the right woman for the job. That reminds me, we have to find another spouse if we don't, we don't want to lose the, the piety. I don't know if we're going to marry anybody else. So we're getting so old here. I might just take the piety hit. And honestly, like keeping three spouses maintained while not having any further, further children uh, yeah, it's just kind of a difficult uh, because yeah, they're dying before us. There's a good chance when you have three elder, uh, older spouses, they're gonna die before you. One of them, anyways. And then we keep taking that stress. So this is just an event on whether you want to give your wife credit or not. Which, because we're humble, we have no choice in the matter. So we'll do that. Yeah, we'll get that bonus. Uh, we also are no longer ill. Excellent. So doctor's really keeping us alive here. I think we would have died without him. So the feast is over. We gained some prestige from that. We reduced our stress by a lot. And so next is going to be the war here. Anything we need to be aware of over here? It looks like we do have those low control, which, you know, I don't know that we have our marshal doing anything. We do not. Um, so we need to get him increasing control in these areas here. Now, particularly where we had that rebellion, but also up there. It needs to be increased as well. Uh, also, he's collecting taxes. Did I just miss the notification? Apparently I did about the promoting the culture here. So we've gotten these two converted, uh, but I really want to get this one converted next. So let's go to work on that. That's going to be nine years, so quite some time. Uh, but same thing here. I must have just missed all these, unfortunately. We could have been converting all this territory, and uh, we were not. Uh, let's go and work on that one next. So we're doing good with the uh, conversion of the religion. It's just the culture that's taken a long time. Uh, but no longer should have any problems here with the popular opinion. In fact, they love us over here. Do all those, uh, all those uh, positive modifiers we're getting. We're going to give it one more month, and then we're going to declare war on Aragon. Yeah, he still has that same weak ally here. He himself is you know, not too uh, strong. He could declare war on, on uh, Navarra instead and quickly conquer him. And maybe we should do that because I'm a little bit worried about uh, France or Castile attacking him. And he has no allies, and this would be such a quick conflict. That makes sense to just go ahead and, and uh, conquer the county. So let's go and do that, guys. Let's declare war. And again, we can knock this war out super quick. Uh, so yeah, I think this is the, the best one we should do right now. All right, so let's go ahead and raise up all our troops. One day left. He has no option but to fight us here. So we'll attack him, maybe we'll capture him. If not, we'll do the siege and the war will be over. And then we'll be able to switch over to this location. We just got the whole army roaming together because uh, it's not really necessary to have them split up. I guess you'd take less attrition, but yeah, I don't have any respect for this war because uh, it should be over here very, very soon. 
Uh, we just looked at the siege. I mean, I guess the siege will be a little longer than expected. Yeah, I guess I got some good fortifications there or whatever. Another gift offer. So we'll accept that. We can always use the, the money. And where do we want to build? We can continue building in the capital, I suppose. We also want to build over here, though. We could end up losing that to one of our sons. Right now, our younger son is set to inherit that territory. Of course, our older son hasn't had any sons of his own. So we might very well end up becoming our younger son eventually. Uh, but yeah, let's go and build the hunting grounds up. Spend a little bit of money here. And just go and increase it to speed 5 since it's just the siege. And yeah, we're taking attrition here, but it's not really a big problem. And of course, he's going to keep on attacking us here. Uh, Knights Templar have been called to help Navarra. Alright, so I might have to fight the Knights Templar, and now they have a big ol' army. Um, and now we're not such in a good position. And we're in a horrible position now, because he got the Templars to help him. So that was unexpected. Yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, we'll get the uh, Soon Forgiven, which will reduce tyranny. But yeah, we're set to, to lose this now. I wasn't... I didn't have any respect for the conflict. Maybe I should have. Who expected the, the Templars to come? Alright, so that's not good. If we lose that battle, yeah, we'll be in a bit of a pickle here now. I was about to redo the siege. We'll keep him doing it. He's only tried once. We vastly outnumbered them originally, but yeah, they get all those those bonuses. And so yeah, we're gonna lose now. Alright, so did not expect the Templar Knights to join. And so now we're in a bad position. We're actually in the negative. And we inherited something. Imagine it has something to do with this character here dying. Where did he rule? He ruled right there. Alright, so that's what we got. So it's just a, a baron who died. I see. Alright, well this is the cattle and culture, so I, I suppose we'll just grant this to a local baron. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's just grant it to a local baron. Increase the acceptance up there. Uh, but yeah, that was a devastating loss now. So yeah, that really did not go in our favor just because he got the Knights Templar to come defend them. And uh, yeah, that's a good army to have supporting you. As you can see, they got 565 heavy infantry here. 564. So yeah, we're in a bad position now at this point. So might want to, you know, look at our military and perhaps increase our men in arms. Like maybe get some skirmishers to counter the heavy infantry. I guess this would be our, our skirmishers. We have that unique skirmisher unit here, which is already much better. And they also counter light cav, unlike the uh, the regular light footman, which only can clear the heavy infantry. So yeah, it would be a really good choice to go and get them. So let's go and do that. And that'll help us out some. We also need to get a new commander here to replace the guy who died. Yeah, just keep on looking for secrets, man. You got it. I believe in you. You can do it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a new commander here. And it looks like this character would be our best option. I suppose that's who we'll put in place, though. You know, getting the uh, unyielding defender in there would probably be better than the extra advantage, honestly. So let's go ahead and put him in place instead. And now we just need to get our troop numbers raised again. Uh, we'll go over to the capital here. They're just going to sit there and defend. That puts us in a bad position because uh, attacking there would not work. We need to have them attack our own territory, so we'll get the defensive bonuses. And it's such a bummer that that happened like that. They've got to raise up our, our food stockpiles as well. Uh, we're still earning money. So yeah, just sitting here and just collecting our troop numbers up, I think, would be in our best interest. As well as uh, raising up the, the rest of the troops as well. Uh, raising up the... We want to raise up over here, though. At the capital. You got, go ahead and raise all of our troops here. Get them merged. And yeah, just build up the, the skirmishers a bit. I almost want to actually increase their numbers a little bit more. Since we want those to counter that uh, those heavy infantry. So we just need to build up the numbers. I'm not sure what the new thing is here. We do have that low county control, but we're still already working somewhere else. Uh, you can see that the next phase will be starting, you know, pretty soon. It's more than likely going to be the hostility phase. It's not surprising. But yeah, that's what it looks like which, uh, which phase we'll see next. 
Yeah, just keep on uh, getting our troop numbers back up. We can't win, um, even with the the new skirmishers here. I don't think we win on a on an attack. I mean, maybe. It says probably win. The owner's in debt now, so we get that uh, bonus. The longer they're in war, the worse penalties they'll get there. But the defending the mountains, the uh, defensive buildings, the high quality. Yeah, I just don't know how well that'll work. Now, obviously, we haven't finished increasing our our numbers here yet. So that'll give us more uh, chance of winning. Yeah, they're not moving. So they, they have decided to stick on the defense. So we're going to have to defeat them there. That's really the only choice. So basically, we need to get our troop numbers up as high as possible. And then we'll uh, attack him over there. And he just keeps getting further and further in debt. He can't pay for all those troops. Uh, but his war score, his sticking war score is going up as well. So you can see that we're, uh, we're going down now. So yeah, we can't sit over here forever. Uh, now we are, yeah, we do have too many troops here, so we're actually going to have to move if we want to keep our supplies up. We'll have to move over to here. And um, even then, we can't go there now. We have to go over here. And we keep on increasing our troop numbers. And uh, we can only supply up to 47, 45 there. So it doesn't really matter where we go at this point. We have too many troops. We're going to have to spread them out if we don't want to continue taking uh, you know, a reduction of supplies. But for right now, we're okay, so we'll keep on building up the, the supplies here. But yeah, I think we're going to have to split the army. And it looks like we have to do that now, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and split it off. We'll just split off a small little contingent of uh, levies here. And they can always come back if we get attacked here, which, again, I think he's going to sit on this defense. If he did attack us here, that would be fantastic for us. Uh, but that's not going to end up happening. Um, so she is now of age, and thus he has married her. Our youngest son, Prince Ali. So yeah, just get him over here. And uh, just keep on building up the, the troop numbers here. Uh, we get, can get up to like 5,000 something. So yeah, just build him up. And again, he just gets more and more in debt. And he's in such a good defensive position that we, we need to make sure that we're uh, in a good position for this attack. Uh, so build up our troop numbers as much as possible. And most importantly, make sure that we get the, uh, the skirmishers. Since that's going to play a large role in our, our victory here. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, let it build up a bit more, and again, he just keeps getting weaker. So it's okay that we have to wait a bit, as long as we don't lose the war. Uh, which, you know, I don't see that happening. As long as we can win this battle, which... We want to make sure that's uh, as likely as possible, so it's going to keep on building up our troop numbers. Again, what we'll do is we'll wait until we get to the, uh, the maximum on the infantry there. On the light infantry. Uh, we do have an inspired person. We don't really have the money to pay for him right now. Uh, but... He's only decent. I was going to say, it would be something we want to do later. But yeah, he's only decent at it. So I don't know how well that would end up being uh, the, the thing he produced. So might want to wait. And we died before we were able to finish our conflict. Alright, so I'm not entirely surprised here. Uh, we are 58 years old, and, and so we actually lived longer than expected. Uh, for me anyways. We only played him for nine years. And this is actually good. We'll get to play with our son Ahmed for much longer. Because he's only 41 here. He doesn't have any children. So probably want to arrange a marriage for uh, a younger. For younger women. And she, our, our current wife is actually ill right now. But yeah, he died in natural causes. He was distinguished. A devoted servant. He had the one stewardship tree finished up in five wars. Three offensive, two defensive. Played as him over nine years. Sultan Yusuf of Aragon has left the transient house at the call of the true one at 58 years of age. He died of natural causes, a conscientious man. He was renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Sultan Atman ascends to the throne, a pious and humble man. Many fear that Atman may have been better suited for a mosque rather than the throne. Really? Hmm. Okay. I mean, he's not... Not great skill-wise. There's nothing really all that impressive. He's pretty average in general. Yeah, he's very average. Now, as far as traits go, we're humble, calm, and deceitful. That's the only new one here. So the lie and deceive is in his nature. So very different from previous characters. He has established level of fame, dutiful level of devotion, and has been in one offensive war here. As far as the titles, um, unfortunately, because I hadn't planned for him dying just yet, and there's nothing we really could have done about it anyways, uh, other than granting him different titles, which maybe I should have. 
Yeah, I probably should have granted him different titles, because, yeah, he ended up inheriting a weird assortment of, of counties, where he got, uh, looks like three counties. Yeah, so we got these three counties here. And thus, we are now going to be much weaker, I think, because of this, because we lost those three counties. Yeah, that's not the three counties I wanted him to get here, so that's unfortunate. But we did get the other three counties, or uh, excuse me, other four counties. But yeah, I would have wanted him to get like ones that like neighbored, and just made more sense to get, honestly. So yeah, probably should have done that, should have uh, handed him some titles. I was trying to keep them for myself until we did the wars, and we ended up doing the wars much longer than intended. And I expected we would have got it done by now. But yeah, I was going to give uh, our sons the titles that we were taking here. But obviously, uh, you know, it took us longer to get the war started. And then uh, it took longer to, to win the war uh, because of this situation here. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, be attacking over here. But um, we'll have to wait to, to do that to the next episode. we got a bunch of stuff we got to do now. Uh, but I think we're just about ready. I guess we got to wait one more month to get the uh, light infantry fully up. And then we'll attack. I do expect we'll, we'll likely win at this point. He's got to be like deep in debt. You can see even just sending that one army there, he's set to win. He's not as deep in, in debt as I was hoping. But yeah, before we can do that, we have to pick a lifestyle, which is going to be in a diplomacy. I guess we can take a look. I mean, he hasn't done anything, has he? Yeah, he, he has. I wasn't sure if he would have because I didn't think he had any titles. Maybe he did have a title. I didn't think he did, though. But yeah, he got through the diplomat. Uh, almost. So that's pretty good. We just got one, uh, the final finisher to get here. Uh, we'll take a look at what all those grant us next episode. Uh, we'll also have to establish the, the council again, get all the members selected once more. And we have some alliances that can be negotiated, essentially with our, our brother and uncle. But yeah, unfortunately, that will have to be the end of today's episode. You notice we're you know losing a lot of money now uh, because of uh, not being a steward character anymore. Uh, so that's unfortunate. So now we'll, we'll be on in debt here in about, it's not even 18 months, 16, 17 months. So we've got to get this this war finished up. Uh, yeah, the uh, Knights Templar definitely was, uh, them joining this conflict was definitely very costly for us, unfortunately. Uh, so things aren't going as well now. Um, but, you know, we're in a new character. We'll see what happens. Uh, overall, he's probably not as good as our, our previous character. Yeah, maybe not as good. I don't know. You have to add them all up to say for sure, because he's a very, very average character. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.